Hey, what's up, guys? Android Extremist here from AndroidExtremist.com. Right now, I'm going to show you how to properly install any custom ROM onto your Android or your Galaxy S3, which I'm going to use to demonstrate this tutorial. So, first of all, you're going to need this three application. Make sure you have your root here phone and custom in recovery installed in order for this to work. So, what I have is Titanium Backup, Super Backup, and Quick Boot. If you are running custom ROM, you don't need Quick Boot. Quick boot is just to boot into recovery easily. Now go to your Titan backup, give it super user permission if you haven't, and press backup and restore right there and go to the corner and press that button. And right here you will be presented with a couple different options as you can see right here. What I do is backup all user applications with system data. Now Make sure you're clear. I'm telling you to back up all the system data, but do not restore system data because that will create a problem with your newest ROM. And just press that green button in the corner, which will start backing up your application. If you don't want some applications, you can deselect and select them by just tapping onto them. And that's how you back up your Titanium backup. That's how you use your Titanium backup to back up application. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Then you can go ahead and go to Super Backup, and here we're going to backup SMS and press Backup. And now this is the place where it's gonna. St the orange stuff is the place where it's gonna store. And here you can give it a custom name if you want, give it a date and stuff. I already backed up, so I'm not gonna do it again. Then Contact Backup, so you can do that. Same way, Calendar and Bookmarks up if you like. After you backed up your phone properly like that. We are going to go ahead and press you long press the power button. If you have custom boot, custom uh, wooden boot menu, you will be able to see boot into recovery. That if you don't, just press recovery right here and grant super user permission, and you will be booting up into your TWRP or Clockroom recovery, whichever you have. Once you boot up there, we're going to fully back up your phone in order to make sure that if anything goes wrong, you can always restore it. So here we go. These are the commands you got on to your recovery. And I'm going to select backup and just roll through it. Now you have two options, internal, internal SD card or external. I'm sorry, I forgot to show you that. So select on whichever ones you want to back this files up. And this is going to back up all your whole system. After this is done backing up, I will be back. So this will take time depending on how much stuff you got on your system, like how many applications, how much your system actually weighs, I mean, in how big the size is. So we'll be back once this is gets done. Hey guys, so once it finished, this is what it should look like. And uh, you can go ahead and press the back button. Again, back. And you'll be right here. Now, you can go to restore tab and right there is will be restated your current rest uh, backup that you had you can tap on it to restore go ahead and press back button again to get into main menu and here we are going to go ahead and press wipe wipe cache swipe away press back button wipe daily cache again swipe wipe system swipe this is really easy because everything is just like click rather than uh, the uh, clock my recovery where you have to use volume rocker sometimes or the layout are not this kind of buttons. So then you're going to go to install and you're going to find wherever you have your ROM. I'm going to install the AOKP by task 650 and goods next. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his, his name correctly, but this is the ROM and it's 4.2.2 go ahead and press back button I'm going to install the under rear kernel back button again which is not working I'm going to install the Google applications so there you can see the process bar again and here wipe daily cache again it's kind of recommended go back and reboot system and this is how you flash custom ROM on your Android. And this is exactly how I flash ROMs on my Android. And as you can see right there is the hilarious, funny 
kernel image right there and afterwards the AOKP boot animation will come on. So that is how you exactly flash a new ROM on your Android by backing up everything. Now you can go ahead and go back and restore everything. And uh, if you find this video helpful, thumbs up is always appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.